Maybe in LA, how are you both doing today? Great. I'm, yeah. I'm good, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, having seen the movie, I think it is uh, actually a pretty good breakup movie to watch. <laughs> if you're in Definitely. the depths of a breakup. I was wondering, is there any decent breakup movie that comes to mind? One that you're like, right, I'm going to cry. I need a good cry. What am I going to watch? Um, I think of, um, oh, why am I forgetting the name of it? Classic one with Robert Redford and um, Barbara Streisand. The Way We The Way We Were. Yeah. That would make that me one, cry. That one, yeah. yeah. I, I'm trying to think. I, I'm thinking of more like recent movies. Yes, yes, because you wouldn't know what movie <laughs> were. I didn't expect you to. I just think of more recent rom-coms. I mean, I don't, I don't know. When you heard that the, the Deadpool, John Wick stunt people were coming on board, was that something you got excited about? Were you like, yes, or were you like, oh, wait, hang on. Uh, just, just double check my insurance here for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was really, really excited. I had just done Me a film too. prior with the 8711 guys, so I a different group of people, but from the same um, company. So I was kind of aware with how they of, of how they worked, and so I was excited to get to kind of up my game a little bit with them. And I definitely did on this movie. <laughs> worked the hardest <laughs> physically that I that I ever had up until that point. Yeah. Did you get to do any fun stuff yourself with the stunts or? Well, actually, I definitely did learn a lot of the stunt choreography, but the majority of my training was um, with magic. So um, I worked with a magician from the Magic Castle, and he taught me how to pit pocket and how to play with cards and do card tricks. So that was a lot of my training. But I did work with 8711, and um, I did have a stunt double. And that for me, it was um, a little more fun than Challenging. Right, not, not quite as hard, <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> One thing I noticed when I was watching it with Huntress was it reminded me so much of the bride from Kill Bill. Oh, really? Was it, well, she had a list and she was she was yeah, checking yeah, yeah. them oh, off as she was going yeah, along. Definitely. Uh, yeah, so I was wondering, yeah, was there right. any particular uh, strong characters that you know you were basing Huntress on for yourself? Well, you know, I, I would say other than the comic books. No, but um, having said that, films like Kill Bill are hugely influential to me just as a, as a human being. I love female action movies um, like that. Uh, and I remember seeing that in a the theater and being blown away and feeling like, oh, I want to do that. So it wasn't something that was in the forefront of my mind while making it, but it's absolutely in the kind of lexicon of my <laughs> existence. Sure, yeah. you know? So it was in there somewhere. And Cassandra, if you're uh, if you're a fan of the comic books, no, she will eventually become mm -hmm. Batgirl. Is that a conversation you had with anyone where you're like, you know, looking forward to what the potential of the the series could become? I mean, hopefully, the the Birds of Prey um, we just shot is more of Cassandra Cain's origin story, and I mean, I, I'm a big fan of Cassandra Cain. I didn't necessarily know who she was um, when I first got the role, but now I'm I'm in love with her, and I definitely hope that it could end up that way, maybe, possibly. Fantastic, and one final question, completely off topic, but I have to, because I can't imagine I'll ever get the opportunity again. 10 years ago now since Scott Pilgrim. Yes. Um, <gasps> 10 years. Oh my years. God. And my, myself and a group of friends, we have a constant argument over whether Scott should have ended up with Ramona or right. Knives. Right. Do you have an opinion? Oh gosh, that's a that's a tough one, because I like both endings for different reasons. Um, but ultimately, I like the ending that's in the movie because I think I don't know for sure that they're going to end up together, but they're giving it another try mm -hmm. um, as like real people this time, and not this idealized version of what their love is going to be from like finding the exes and she's the prize. Like this time, it's like okay, let's start over as just like people and see what happens. Mm. And Knives is doing her own thing. Knives doesn't need to be messed <laughs> up with these people, you know. <laughs> Knives is too good for that. <laughs> she, she is. She is. Forget Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Turn it up! <laughs> oh shit, is that a hyena in a bathtub? I named him Bruce after that hunky Wayne guy. <laughs>